What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. We've got another exciting video going on tonight. This is episode two of the Zone 5 Fighting, the murder ball mayhem that we had on the first day of KVK fighting um, in my kingdom 1846, where we fought Dragothian and 1916. For those of you guys that are new here, my name is Fett. I'm talking about the mobile game Rise of Kingdoms, which is a game that you can build up a city, uh, build up your armies, and fight other players in events like Kingdom vs. Kingdom, which is the one that we're making this video about, Champions of Olympia, which is the newest game mode, and Ark of Osiris, which is also one of my favorites as well. If you guys haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I love putting out content about how I play. Um, love stuff about specifically KVK and all the fighting. I've got a ton of content that's not only come out already, but also coming out in the near future for fighting in KVK. Massive fights, guys. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. Um, just so you can see how I play my account in my alliance and in my kingdom, 1846. All right, guys, so let's jump right into it once again. Um, if you watched the last episode, episode one of this murder ball mayhem, that is what I called it, um, you'll know this is right where I left off. So we were kind of looking at where K916 or T2A, I believe, was kind of grouping up around their fortress. And we noticed that they were about to start hitting 62, um, which is our allied kingdom within our camp. Um, so we, this is our second murder ball that we had built right now. Everybody had refreshed. Everybody had started to port it up as well. So we not only are refreshed and we've kind of got a good feel of things in the field, but we've got even more marches now that we're bringing to the fight, which is a good thing because in this initial fight, it looked like um t2a was kind of kind of kicking 62's butt real quick but luckily we were able to get this entire murder ball up and onto the territory of t2a's fort that's coming up um to really shut that down and turn this into a more longer term field fight and as you can see guys they were not um they were not prepared for this sandwich that they got hit with right here um this is just, we've been doing this all day at this point, right? I, I told you this was about four hours of footage before I live streamed where we were just field fighting. And I mean, we were just basically figuring out, okay, where did the enemy overextend? And then we were just figuring out a way to cut them off. Um, it wasn't always an exact science and sometimes we did have to move faster than we wanted to, but that's basically what we were going for over and over and over again. And I mean, T2A pushed way, way, way farther back on 62. And I don't know, they just didn't see us coming from behind them, which this is not rocket science. I mean, somebody just needed to kind of pay attention to where we were, where our murder ball was and say, hey, we shouldn't push this far um, into 62 territory. Um, we should probably pull back and like stick around our fort, which is where we can, you know, have a clear line for reinforcements coming in um, and not be completely cut off to that. But that's, they didn't. And we were able to jump right in there and really just pincer them, completely sandwich them and just take them out. And so the marches I've got now, I've got my main three out still right now. I've got my one over at the rune back in, um, whatever that was zone four. Um, but I still got my, my Guan Leo, my Attila Takeda and my Ramesses YSG. I didn't do too much with um, XY and Minamoto in the field in this specific fight. Um, I probably could have done more, but I didn't really want to mess around with it. I wanted to make sure I had my absolute three strongest marches out there. And XY Moto is just not gonna do it for me. Um, and so I just went with these three because I knew these three were going to perform well and my city was pretty close so I could refresh these nice and easy. So I just went with these three. I kept it solid, um, had the 50% buff on, the 10% defense um, buff as you guys can see in the top left right there as well. So I just, I felt comfortable with three. I didn't need to get five out there and um, I, I felt really comfortable with, with my fighting in the field here. Yep, and as you can see, they're they're starting to retreat. They got the full sandwich here. We're just sending them home. There you see some sad faces going home. There are some 62 players being sent home as well.
And we just, I look at all those ones, go, all those marches going home. I mean, we, sandwich complete. There's still a good chunk of enemies right there, but we're going to clean this out nice and easy and move on, um, you know, to, to wherever we needed to go next. What this was kind of turning into, though, was a fight for this fort. And T2A knew that they needed to protect this fort and get it done. Um, there is a moment, I believe, coming up in this video where we have a chance to take the fort and we actually can't take it down. We had a really, really good opportunity, but T2A held it strong. Um, tip of the hat to them on that front. Um, but right now we are just owning the field. We're stopping anything that's trying to reinforce from the left and we're taking anything down that's still on the right. Look at all those marches being sent home. Look at all those. Bye. See you later, guys. And so I'm looking now on the screen saying, okay, it looks like we're pretty cleared out here. We're looking pretty good. Um, let me start to think about, nope, I'm still trying to fight people, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about, okay, where should we really, what should I be looking at next? Where should the next marker be? I think I jumped on a Discord at this point. I noticed that some people were hitting each other. So I think I jumped on Discord and was like, hey guys, stop fighting each other. You know, the enemy's dead. Um, let's let's push back to where we're supposed to be. There was a little confusion at that part. Um, I think I remember that now too. Okay, and so we just kind of wanted to pull back, I guess. I'm not, so I remember there was a lot of us kind of putting markers and stuff. Um, who do I bring to the table here? What do I do? I bring the guy, I bring the guy. Oh, I decide to go with maybe some Bjorn action. I do. So Alex Bjorn come into play. Um, being that most, I have two really, really high skill damage marches in that I'm using right now in the field, I wanted to give this a try and see what happened when I brought him to the field. I chose Alex. I think Alex has my windswept on it, so he's really, really quick. Now, it could have been Charles that had my windswept, so that could have been another error on my part. I should have checked equipment before doing that. And this is where things got a little confusing, guys, is... Half of us decided to pull back and the other half decided to push towards the fort and split up our murder ball. Not good, we wanted to stay together. Um, I think that marker was probably a bad call. We probably just should have pushed to their fort. But I think what we were looking at was this group right here and saying, okay, we can't get, we cannot get flanked and we need to make sure that we don't let this group, even though it was three players with it was 15 marches, I mean, not the end of the world, but we didn't want that to cause us any drama down the road. So we, we pulled back to be safe. And I mean, it worked out actually that only half of our group came, but here we go. Now that we placed another marker, everybody's coming. Big, big fights about to go down, guys. That first one was huge. We cleared them all out. Again, I still have three marches not in even yellow yet. They're still in white, regular health. Getting ready to flank him again. We're just gonna do this again.
Look at that. Look at that movement there together. Again, cannot say how proud I am of the people that I play with. I mean, the coordination here is, is crazy. Um, to have everybody on vocal, everybody following markers like that. This one was a little more messy than what we saw in the first video, but um, look at how good everybody's doing. I mean, we're doing a great job of keeping everybody together. Inferno still taking rallies. I swear he was off territory for like the first five hours just taking rallies and just baiting the enemy. It was hysterical. I, I think he took I think he took some licks though, um, if I'm not mistaken, but he he was having a good time and he was able to heal up as he was taking it, so Here we go again, just clearing them out. There we go, getting some yellow on my Atul Takeda. I'm sure my, where's my Ramesses at? Nope, he's still, he's still good. Let's see, are we gonna send any home? There was one. I guess my guys were returning for a reason. It seems pretty even right now, right? This is just a wild field fight. Look at all these marches. And I remember at this point, we're, we're looking, look at the top right, we're looking at 62 going, hey guys, <laughs> join the fight. Trajan, one of my favorite targets. Mm, sending some home, sending some home. As you can see, we, we've got them outnumbered still. 62 is now pushing. Yeah, this is basically this epic battle for this fort that ensues for the next. This one is sped up again. This is about an hour of footage, but this was basically like, I don't know, an hour and 40 minutes of a fight for this specific fort. Look at those just getting sent home. And they're starting to pull back and group up a little bit behind. Look at all these marches getting sent home for T2A. What am I hitting? Am I hitting that Guan? My Attilo just went down. I took something down now.
500k kills right there. Um, he's pretty slow, honestly. And so our flags at this point are almost reaching our four, which is great news. We've got, couldn't tell what that was, an hour and a half left on that, an hour. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it, it, I just had a lot going on. As you can see, I, I took my, my rune march and I sent him into the battle. So... Came all the way over from zone four. So I just decided to, to suicide him and um, let him refresh and then send him for another rune later. Um, I do think I wait for another rune entirely to pop. And so I'm just kind of assessing the field here and trying to decide, okay, do we have enough to push further or what do we want to do? And then one of my other R4s pulled the marker back. Like it was time to pull back. Even though we've got that beautiful wall right there, um, we decided that the enemy seemed to have more numbers. And so we wanted to pull back in general. And yeah, I mean, they've got stuff coming up on the south. We did not want to get flanked here. So we just pulled every, decided to pull everything back. I'm refreshing all of my marches, which is, you know, smart move. This is where I think I, I switch on Discord and tell 62, hey, we're gonna pull back. We've got some flankers coming. We don't wanna get flanked. We don't wanna get sandwiched here at all. Yep, and they're starting. And so position is key in a murder ball. You don't wanna be sandwiched. Um, it leads to confusion. It leads to difficulties with targeting. Um, even though you do have to give up some you know, I guess position, you gotta, you know, move back, give up some ground, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's more important to be together in a murder ball than it is to be in a better position. So we looked at this and said, okay, we're gonna get walloped here if we don't come back and regroup and not have two fronts with our murder ball. We need to be pushing in one direction with the murder ball. It is tough though for people to disengage and get back to a marker once they've already kind of committed. And as you, you can see that right here, um, 62 is struggling. We're struggling to pull people back. At a certain point, people just start taking extreme damage and they're like, wait, where is everybody? And then they realize that there's a marker, so. Yep, and that's looking good. So somehow we pulled off like a mini sandwich on this guy right here. Not sure what I'm looking for there. Yep, getting the murder ball back into position. We are still on their territory. Soon to be territory. The fort's not done yet.
A lot of marches going home in both directions here. This was a good fight, this one for sure. Classic phone calls while I'm playing. I cannot believe my, my game didn't crash throughout any of this. As you can tell, I was totally distracted with, um, I don't know, leading and, and placing markers and stuff. Um, really just talking on Discord. I don't have any marches out in the field. I'm not sure if I may be waiting for a port spot or what the deal is here, but I should have marches out there. charge the phone a little bit. What if I sent marches, though? How could I be this distracted? I don't recall this. Um... I'm wondering when I come to and realize, hey, I don't have any marches in the field. Look at that flood by T2A, wow. Finally, I realize. Come on. What do I go with? Let's see. Looks like my XY is going to make his way into the field, I think, for the first time. Ooh, I'm going to get the full five going. Let's go. I was happy with that. Let's get him over there. got marches going home there. So I guess I'm looking right now for a better port spot. Yeah. I'm thinking, all right, I probably want to port up here soon. out the notifications sorry about that I played for hours though I mean it just it made sense <laughs> that I needed to clear some of those out relatively short fight though actually I remember when we fought 77 um, it was like a week-long fight 
I didn't even want to play the game anymore for a while. Um, it was way too intense. This was nice. This was a good, you know, 12, 12, 15 hour fight. Um, and, and then it was done. Um, after that, I kind of prefer that. I think it just gets so exhausting. I mean, we do have real life, so we can kind of take a day off of work or a day off of stuff to do, you know, a huge fight like this one. But when it turns into a week long affair, I don't know. Is there yet? No, they're not. How are we looking? We're looking thin. The marches are getting sent home. They've got appearing. I mean, it appears that they have what double what we have. Maybe, maybe not. 62s right there. We're getting some reinforcements coming in. Getting into the action, finally. God, that took forever, right? My Attila's just way faster than everybody else. Even the XY. We're starting to win that fight, kinda. Oh no, my XY's there first. Oh, is, are they both there? Okay, they were pretty similar timing. And so 62 got that flag up, which was a big deal. Um, this is where it gets really close and we're starting to think, okay, wait a second. We might be able to take down this fort before it's done which would have been absolutely huge. Um, spoiler, we don't take it down. Um, really, really down to the wire, extremely, extremely close. T2A and company does a great job of holding this fort up. Um, but spoiler, we do not take it down, even though it's it's millimeters away from going down and it just, it doesn't, they do a good job. But we start to get the vibe here. Wait, okay, if if 62 can get this flag up and they can port some monsters in, some really good rally players, we may have a chance to stop this fort from existing, which would be a uh, game changer to say the least. I mean, how demoralizing would that be if, you know, you're a T2A player and you just spent three hours fighting in the field to try to build this fort and it goes down at the last second. Like, can you imagine? So, and obviously we could have built flags way deep into their territory without this. They couldn't have built flags out there um, as quickly as they ended up doing it. So would have been huge for multiple reasons and um, was a really, really fun attempt and a great battle. And we just, we just couldn't get it done in time. Yep, 62's porting in. Just, this is this video is basically an hour of field fighting, intense field fighting. Sixty two's got looks like another alliance. Who is that down there? Sixty two. What is that? JP. I can't read JP. I think. So 
We're grouping up. We, I think we were just waiting for the additional marches to reach us, and then we were going to start pushing. I just said, all right, let's just get it going. Let's get it going here. Boom. Put the charge marker down and they are getting cleared out quick. Boom. Cleared that up real quick. That was a great job by both alliances right there. Um, 62s. They're DJ, I think, right there. And R and LIU. And you know what? I had no problem focusing on the tanky marches. I was like, okay, like I'll just I'll take them down. Like no one focuses them and at a certain point they gotta go and this is this had reached that point in the field fight where i'm like you you gotta go we can't have you charles running around anymore like you're gonna go down Okay, we're looking thin now, right? We're looking pretty thin. I was a pretty good battle. I'm not sure if they have that flag built yet or not. You can tell the lag's a little bit worse here, guys. So when I'm charging my phone, I do leave it on an ice pack, but it gets so hot that it is risky um, for the game to crash, obviously. It gets a little more laggy. Um, the you know the To process the game and this kind of fighting and stuff, it needs to be as cool as possible. Um, ideally not charging, and you gotta have a pretty good device. So this is a little more laggy than before because the phone is charging. One of mine just got sent home. Who was that? Ah, Alex Bjorn. He, Alex Bjorn really needs to be fighting with my other marches. So, you know, whenever he's low, he should probably just go. And I just decide, okay, let's just refresh everything. My cab did okay. And I guess my XY moto did, did well. Did the best out of all my marches. But you can see, I mean, I've got, you know... 18,000 five minute healings, which is amazing. Courier station, guys. Every time you see him there, buy him. If you have gems, if you're free to play, um, you know, you may not have those gems, but 
Every time you see those healings in the courier station, go ahead and pick them up. They come in handy. So we're now passing our fort with that flag. We're trying to catch up to 62 here. So we've got full field control around their fort. Their flag looks built. I might be on Discord asking if they're rallying it yet. This is where stuff gets intense, if I'm not mistaken. It's a good port there. And I like this kind of... Um, if you guys don't like this like level of view, I apologize, but this gives me this, I need to look at it this way a lot of times to understand how many players people have on the field um, and whether or not we need to move around or anything like that. When you're when you're a little bit more zoomed in and you can just see the marches, it's really hard to, to get a feel for how many you have versus how many they have. This view is probably the best um, for understanding who has more on the field at a certain time in a certain place. And I do believe that what I'm doing right now in game is um, checking in with 62 on Discord to see if they are rallying this fort, how long it's gonna be, so that we can kind of prepare to be there and help try to keep the field clear. What I should be doing is while I'm doing that, getting more markers, or sorry, more marches to come fight. I've got Two that could go right now. I'm sure these three are going to pop back soon. And hopefully I realize and get, get something done and get something moving. Maybe I'm waiting for another port spot. Who knows? But So I think what's going on here is they start to realize how big this could be if we take this fort down before it's done. And I think what we saw there was K916 coming to help. There's the rally. There's the rally. If I remember correctly, they did archers. Yeah, that looks like Nebu. Ramesses Nebu versus Xeno YSS. Yep. That's what we got. It's getting swarmed. It's chaos. Your T2A is rushing in like, we got to stop this. We got to reinforce. This is bananas. As you can see, I mean, we must have been down capacity in that rally because that Xeno is, well, it was destroying the Ramesses, but now the rally is winning. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at how low that is, guys. Oh, my God. It was so close. And we're over here just like we're trying to stop any reinforcement that could possibly be trying to get in there. 
Um, we're making, we're trying to make it difficult to click on the fort. We're all over the place. We're trying to fight everybody. At the same time, though, we're probably making it difficult to reinforce 462, their rally. Um, we've kind of lost vision at this point, and I can't see where the, the structure is, but I, it was so close, and we were all on Discord freaking out like of how intense this was. Because if we would have taken this down, I mean, it would have been... It, we ended up, if you guys watched um, or have checked on our kingdom or anything, we won the zone, but... It would have been a lot shorter. It would have been a lot faster if we took this fort down. This kind of acted as, you know, their cornerstone into attacking us. Um, and without this, it would have been very difficult for them to do. It would have taken a lot longer. Uh, I don't know if maybe the difficulty would have went up or not, but it definitely would have been more difficult. So this would have been crazy huge for us. And it was such a good time trying to stop this from going up. But... Uh, they did a good job of getting in there, reinforcing. They were putting anything in there that they could. That's the nice thing about YSS, um, is you will get that mixed troop buff as long as the the commander, the rally leader, or sorry, the garrison leader has mixed troops as well. Look at this field right now, guys. Just chaos. I'm looking at that player because I'm like, how how long can this player reinforce? Right, because they're right there. That's one of their key players to reinforce that structure. And I mean, if they were 150 million, they could just reinforce it themselves. But they're 72, and you know they can only do that for a little bit. I don't know. I think that rally's still going. Just insane. I mean, just the lag is crazy. These rallies are nuts. Did the rally go down? Nope, still going. Yeah, it's getting low. It's getting real low. And there she goes. Yep. Yep. Ah. Man, that was close. Holy shite. What we could have done there, right, is switched up our coalitions a little bit um, to keep attacking it. But, um, you know, we had I think we had another chance here to rally. And it wasn't the end of the world that we didn't take it. We probably could have switched up and got LIU in the same coalition as 62 and attacked it at the same time. But... Trying the Charles Bourne this time. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Alex Bjorn again? Okay. <laughs> and here they're coming in strong, T2A. And yeah, guys, if you're curious kind of what went down, we've got a little more time left on this video, but if you're curious what went down after episode one and episode two that I just put on my channel recently, the whole live stream I did was the next, call it, I don't know, two and a half-ish, three-ish hours of fighting that we did, which was mostly flag fighting, which was a ton of fun as well, and we had a blast with it. Um, so if you're curious kind of what happened, this was like, you know, right as we got in, basically, 
lots of movement, murder ball fighting, field fighting. Um, the live stream I did was once everything was kind of set in stone and set into place. So if you haven't checked out that video yet, I will throw a card up top for you guys to go check it out. It was a really, really good one. A couple hours of great content of fighting. Um, and yeah, that's a good one if you guys haven't seen it yet as well. And as you can see, T2A is coming in hot. They're saying to themselves, look, we cannot lose this fort. We cannot do it because it will be detrimental, not only to us emotionally, but to our strategy and what our goals are for offense in this zone as well. <clears throat> They've got, look at all those players they've got. Wow. I think that's another rally that's hitting right now. Can't even see. I really can't even see in there. It looks like it. Does, is, it is the fort Zeno? Is the Zeno going down? Uh, yeah. I want to say, yeah, that's a rally. Okay, so this is the second rally now. I cannot see the the health marker on the structure at all. It's definitely not that Guan. The Guan is not defending. No way. The rally is really not going down much. I wonder if that's a glitch. trying to get a feel for what the heck is happening in there I can't I can't see it all right inopportune moment to go back to my city I think that second rally just went down. There was, I think there was lots of glitching going on there, lots of lagging going on with what was happening with the health of each, um, you know, the fort and the rally. Um, long story short, it didn't go down, right? Which is what I said earlier, spoiler. And I think that first rally was our closest chance um, compared to that second rally. I think I'm just talking on a lot on Discord right now, which is why I do not have <laughs> Mr. Grothian right there, T2A. Uh, it's a pro I mean, I'm sure I'll deal with this issue when I'm a bigger YouTuber, but that's the issue, man. I mean, people see <laughs> people see your name out there, and they just want to they just want to swarm you. I must have been talking that whole time intensely or something on Discord because it was just staring at. At least there was fighting in the screen, right? Khan, one of my favorite targets as well. Ooh, bye. You're not gonna make it home. Alive. <sighs> Melted. Come whatever. Be here till dawn isolated. They've got a bunch of field presence now. So they, they really realized like how important this fort was. 
And we're kind of just like, all right, we need to send everything we possibly can here now. Because if we lose this board, it's going to ruin our whole strategy. And look at that. I mean, the field looks pretty even now at this point. I'm not sure why we put that marker there. That fort is still building though. It is not completed yet. We still technically have opportunities here to take it, but look at all their field presence. I mean, they, they pulled all the stops. Look at all the alliance names you see there. They pulled everything that they could to defend this fort and made, make sure that it got completed. I'm not, I'm not sure, but you can probably see it in episode one. I think this was their most one of their most forward forts. Um, it's obviously one of their main alliances, but one of their most forward forts, meaning it was gonna be the hardest one to get done. I T2A is their main alliance though, so I think that was their plan, but wasn't their plan for this to almost go down, obviously. Um, but it wasn't the most difficult position, I will say as well. So, you know, good, great job by them to hold this one up. I mean, we threw everything at this, that first rally, like, how did it not go down? Um, we threw everything at it. And now we're kind of just like, all right, this is gonna turn into flag fighting. They're gonna get this fort done. Um, they've got the massive field presence that they need to hold this down. We don't. Um, and this is kind of where this, this starts to transition into flag fighting. I do a little, I, you know, I do a little play time over here on the left-hand side, but this is a really bad position to be in for me. Um, this is a really easy way to get five marches swarmed and have a massive hospital build for basically no reason. So, you know, I kind of wanted to get some more kills and mess around a little bit, but I shortly realized, um, you know, let's not do that and let's just get out of here. Yeah, I mean, they, they've got the numbers at this point. And again, though, look at all these alliances that they brought over. You see, I see T2A, I see AP16, see, I think some K916 in there somewhere, maybe to the south a little bit. What is that Sonny doing, man? What are you doing, buddy? Just... Get that Alex. Yeah, I could have I could have I could have fought better. <laughs> Don't forget guys, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, all the support means a lot. I love sharing this content. I had such a good time on my live stream for this fight uh, that, that really films right after the footage you're seeing right now. Had such a blast and I had, I think I had a max of like 120, 130 on my stream at one point in time, which was awesome. It was fun chatting with you guys and, and fighting it out. Um, again, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. It is under my live streams on my channel. Um, but really appreciate all the support guys go ahead and like the video if you like this kind of content hit that subscribe button It means a lot. It lets me know that I'm putting out content that you guys do want to see um, And like I said guys, this is kind of where we transition from the initial field fighting to flag fighting as you can see We've got the 62 flags already there We're trying to make our LIU flags go up here and kind of have this uh, two-on-one kind of flag fight where we've got 62 on one end and and our flags on another however They've got another alliance actually up top as well that we have to face with LIU. So it turns into basically alliance-wise, alliance speaking, kind of 2v2, um, which again is all in the live stream. You guys can check it all out there. Um, it is on my channel. Um, and yeah, like I said, really appreciate all the support, guys. I love coming on here and talking about how we fight in KVK um, and other events in the game. 
So that's where I'm gonna leave this one. The rest of the fighting here is kind of meh, you know, here and there, a little mismatch. I think I spend the next few minutes figuring out where I should port to. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna leave this one here. I will um, answer any comments. Please drop me a comment for what you guys thought of this video, what you thought of our fighting and how we did. And um, until the next video, guys, which will be a, a more recent kind of KVK update. Um, until that next video, guys, see you later.